So Anurag and his speakers opened up a real box of opportunity for us. And we're going to be really throwing open that box, tearing it apart. And let's see really what this industry can really do for us. So I shouldn't be coming from MEF. I'm meant to be neutral. I'm not meant to have a favorite topic. I'm not meant to have a favorite anything, but I do. And it actually is this topic right now. It's about how we can accelerate. We call it CPAS acceleration, but at the end of the day, how can we really genuinely, truly as an industry come together and bring business messaging to the audience it deserves to be brought to? So joining me on the CPAS acceleration panel, we have a really, really experienced array of speakers. We have the leading lights of so many different companies here in the sector in India. I'd like to start off with Tushar from Root Mobile. Sorry, if you could please come up, that would be great. I was pointing at you, but the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry, it's me. Tushar, how can I mix you up? Good to see you. Yeah, we're here, Have take a seat. Uh, you went over there. Next up, we've got Nitin from Cinch. Please come on down. Thank you. The commercial model is right because in MEF, I'm not meant to talk about the P word price because it's deemed as being antitrust. So therefore, I keep talking about commercial model. I have to really watch that one. Uh, next up, we've got Vinay, who is head of South Asia for Message Bird as well. Welcome, Vinay. We've got Girish Chaturvedi, the Chief Business Officer of Netcore. Girish? Girish is on his way. Yep. Coming down. Very relaxed, very literally, but we're here. Fantastic. We have Alok from GTS. Come on. Congratulations. And. Last but not least, on the speaker side of things, we've got Mr. Banu, the most violent dancing at the event last yesterday evening. Goes to Mr. Banu Singh from Tube Light. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Never would have thought it. So, the topic is CPAS acceleration. Title, how to make it relevant for all. So, we're here in India, 1.4 billion people. The average age of 28 or 27, 28, something like that. Vast messaging market. I'm going to start off by asking, rating 1 to 10, how you think the industry as a whole has done at engaging with every size of enterprise, top to bottom, here in India, and really getting, literally, the message across that business messaging is something that can really transform them. Banu, one to 10. One is absolutely terrible. 10 is, why are we even bothering to talk about it? We're rock stars. What rating would you give and why? Well, you're asking a binary question. It's, just, it's very difficult to you know, give a number without actually explaining the context and the capability of different people who can contribute in different ways. For instance. I, I want a number. You're evading the question already. <laughs> this guy should be in politics. As okay. was not, not just in come uh, dancing give, or something I, like I, that. I will give, uh, considering, you know, when, when, when we talk about inclusion, right, and we, when we talk about how people are contributing to make sure the accessibility is for everybody, generally we are talking about the bottom of primate, right? More often than not. So I would say uh, people are trying, but still it's six. Okay, six to so ten. So I think from a tooling and availability perspective, it's eight or nine, but accessibility and adoption is probably five or six. So as an ecosystem, we need to do better to get people more access uh, to adapt and use. It's there. Systems are there. Okay. Well, I'll, say, I'll say seven and a half. You know, the uh, market is pretty aware of exactly what CPAS is about. Maybe they don't understand what CPAS stands for. But uh, a lot need to be done. I mean, I say the developer community is something which is untouched yet, and we need to do a lot to that community to ensure the CPAS keeps, you know, uh, growing the way it has grown over the years. So that's my take. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll agree with Tushar. I think we've done fairly well, so I'll rate eight. Uh, 
Yeah, so enough and more has been done. Yeah, there's scope to do better, but yeah, I, I think it's fairly spread out. You know, CPAS is well understood. And when you compare it with a couple of other markets, I think we are fairly established. Okay, that, that's the point compared to other markets, because we are talking about India here. We can talk about, because many of you, in fact, all of you operate in markets outside of India as well. So we can open up a little bit and do a bit of a comparison as we go. What about yourself? Yeah, I, I think you're right, uh, James. Uh, but, you know, you asked about enterprise. I would say yeah. that when you compare um, or when you look at enterprise, I would say it's nine because uh, enterprises reach out to consumers uh, through digital channels. So they have to be aware. Um, there's a lot of push that happened after, you know, the government brought in the whole digital aspect of it, financial inclusion. So it's very difficult for enterprise not to interact, uh, you know, uh, on the digital channel. But I would say that... Uh, there's a large segment of companies that are still not uh, out there who have been able to adopt this. Uh, there it would be, you know, let's say the MSMEs or the SMBs, right? There it's... That's, it's that, that, that's what we're really talking about. Okay. okay, so then that's not enterprise. So enterprise is a little different. Uh, so in the SMB and uh, MSMEs, I would say it's five because um, uh, they're not clear. Uh, they don't, uh, you know, they don't know which channel to use. Uh, they get confused about, uh, you know, all this opt-in, data security, and other things. They're not mature enough. Uh, so th for that, I think uh, all of us here at MEF and as a CPAS industry, we, it's, the onus is on us to reach out, explain, uh, make sure that they understand what is the right way of connecting, and also ensure that, uh, you know, we, we help them in this journey of uh, becoming uh, digitally literate uh, and, and compete with the, the larger enterprises. Because... As an end customer, frankly, now I'm reachable. Whether you're a big enterprise or you're a small enterprise, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm approachable. So we, we, we've, we've got an opportunity to actually go help them. So I would say five on SMB, MSME, and uh, nine on the enterprise. Okay. Uh, so uh, my bit is, uh, if you see the CPAS uh, market for India or globally as well, we have one of uh, a few of the best CPAS provider sitting around the table, all from India. So uh, technically speaking, we are at a very good level. I will rate it as six because um, with uh, uh, RBM also coming to India, there is a new lot of work to be done, to be started. There is also a thing what Avnish have mentioned about uh, having a CDP in place. Enterprises uh, have to yet uh, to work on that at a very the CD, uh, uh, customer uh, data uh, platform. Oh, customer so, data platform. Yeah, the, the platform which can collect the data from silos of databases that uh, enterprises have as they grow along with time, and then to centralize it somewhere so that you can initialize the real personalization. So uh, real personalization is yet to be achieved in the market. And once we are at that level, uh, then we can talk about multilingual support uh, on uh, multiple platforms. And that is when I can see that uh, we are very at a mature level. But still, we are at uh, a 0.6, I would say. OK. Very varied uh, answers. So the, the facts are, so MEF member Mobile Squared, many of you will know Mobile Squared provides lots of statistics about the mobile or the business messaging, let's get it specific, the business messaging market. And uh, Nick Lane, founder of Mobile Square, I remember an event last year, this figure sticks in my head. It will have changed since last year. But I remember him saying they were, because they, they did research, so they went to as many governments as possible. So every government has a list of registered businesses. And they added them up. And it came to, in the world, they found 306, I remember the figure in my head, 306 million listed businesses in the world. Then they looked at all the SMS traffic, the conversations they've had with practically all of you guys, your companies in the, and other operators in the room around the world, and they figured that less than 5% of businesses in the world were even just using SMS. Never mind RCS, RBM, RBM, WhatsApp, et cetera, et cetera. They weren't even using SMS. So the fact is, the fact, and again, I'm not just talking about India, I'm talking the world. The fact is that we as an industry are not doing a great job. The fact that 95% don't even know anything about it, not great. But let's, so, so let's 
look at what's going on in the, the industry. And let's talk about India. The market for digital ads here in India, so the meta, Facebook ads, et cetera, et cetera, they haven't actually been mentioned once during the event today. Uh, but ultimately, surely, isn't this what business messaging is competing against? So, Banu, let's start, start with, with yourself. What lessons can we learn from the digital ads market? Because even the smallest of businesses, SMB or enterprise, whichever definition you use, whatever an enterprise is, even the smallest of organizations can use digital ads and is clearly doing so given that market is worth about $400 billion annually. And our, if you want to call it that, market is, depending on who you ask, it's one-eighth, it's one-sixth, one-tenth of that. It's a fraction of it. So what are they doing right that we in business messaging are not doing right? Well, again, uh, not very straightforward answer to this question as well. Uh, see, uh, not many years ago, when in, in, in context of Indian market, when uh, we really... Uh, okay, we're under attack it's, it's from it's the... Not me. No, it's not the microphone, <laughs> and it's not you, so... Right, not long ago, we all had smartphones. We not, not long ago, we had, you know, data connectivity. I'm talking about the Indian context. When you said very few people in other parts of the world, it could be relevant when people are not really, you know, using messaging or other form of CPAS offering that good. Forget the ads, right? Um, CPAS is CPAS for us. It is for us now, right, in that definition. But most, uh, most people even, uh, any part of